we, we've actually taken the smart covers and made it part of our overall preventive maintenance plan for our collection systems. Um, the first thing we're doing to set a baseline for flows in the area is we're deploying the smart cover systems in different areas of our collection system. And then we follow that up with different technologies. So we acoustically inspect the mains after that. We clean, we go out, we televise, and then we still keep the monitoring system out in the collection system to gauge and verify the success of our cleaning operations. The main products that we liked about the smart cover system was um, there's a lot of alarm settings within the software. Um, we have high level alarms, we have tilt cover alarms, um, all valuable information to us um, while we were constructing the plant. It's, it's just a very easy system for us to use and um, there's a lot of things that we don't even use right now on it, you know, that it's capable of. So as we, as we learn more and more about it, I think it's gonna become a much bigger part of our whole um, maintenance program. So DuPage County, our collection system is pretty built out. One concern I have moving into the future is capacity issues within our collection system. Um, I see us using the smart cover system, not only to gauge our cleaning successes, um, things like the unique one we did with the plant, but also kind of determine where we may have capacity issues in our system um, during rain events. So, you know, we can sit there and you can monitor an interceptor line and see what the impact of a quarter inch rainfall has on our, on our collection system and maybe drive construction projects towards that. We've used a lot of um, different products in our collection system and our maintenance program. Um, we've used, you know, the traditional level sensors and flow loggers. We've used laser loggers. The one thing that our staff has found is these systems are very easy to deploy. Um, they're very reliable. Um, there's very low maintenance. Um, there's no batteries to change or anything like that in this system. Very reliable communication and it's 24-7. What we liked most about the Smart Cover solution was the ease of installation. So we had our own staff um, install them. We have our own IT staff support the software. Our operators and maintenance personnel um, during construction of this plant were able to monitor our flow levels coming into the plant 24-7 all off of their app from their phone. So it was a very convenient system to install and easy to use. So one thing that we do since we've deployed the Smart Cover system, um, not only is it on a convenient app on your phone, um, I, for one, come in in the morning after a rain event overnight, and one of the first things I'll do is open up the Smart Cover desktop, um, and I can do, there's multi-charts in there, I can overlay the various manholes that we have Smart Covers deployed, I can look at the rainfall in that area and see how it was impacted, you know, how it impacted our collection system. So it's very convenient, quick snapshot of how your system reacted to a rain event the night before, and it identifies problems for you way sooner than what, you know, a resident calling or somebody calling beforehand. The smart cover system has saved us money because of the labor. Um, before, you know, for instance, I'll use the example of the wastewater treatment plant that we just built. Part of the pumping plan was to have 24 seven monitoring um, with our operators. Um, and in a rain event, we were actually gonna have operators go out physically into the field, check the manholes to verify depths in those manholes. With the smart cover system, we actually have three different systems deployed on the front end of that plant. And it enabled us to watch it 24 seven and not have anybody out in the field during rain events or storms.